Unfortunately, rug pulls have become synonymous with the crypto market as scammers see it as an opportunity to make quick cash. One such rug pulls has hit the Nigerian, the Crypto X, formerly Twitter community, where what is assumed to be one of the most trusted influencers, a rug pulled a project that raised $300,000 in its pre sale. Uh, surfing through the X, uh, formerly Twitter pulls related to the Stimmy coin. It looks to be uh, that the coin was created as a parody uh, of uh, the, the stimulus checks received by United States residents during the COVID-19 lockdowns. Uh, the coin seemed to gain popularity quickly due to the founder being widely known in the Nigerian crypto community. The founder, Fee, whose ex, formerly Twitter, account at Fee.ix, has over 84,000 uh, followers was able to get widespread popularity for the STEMI project by organizing social media contests and the likes. Uh, and, and interestingly, browsing posts of the founder revealed uh, that he had always been a vocal critic of founders who rub, pulled, or scammed investors, which is how he garnered such a loyal following. This following grew as he readied to launch his project. On the day of the pre-sale, Fee would go the unconventional route of asking investors to send ETH to a personal wallet address instead of using an established pre-sale, the platform like Pinsale. From this point onward, the project seems to be doomed. After raising $300,000 and the uh, pre-sale tokens were distributed to participants and Stimmy coin was listed on decentralized exchanges which is where the cracks began to show at first uh, there was less than half of the pre-sale funds added to the liquidity pool which meant participants were in losses wide out the gate nevertheless many kept the faith as they believed in faith um, the next crack to show was that marketing for the Stimmy coin um, seemed to be non-existent uh, despite the founder holding around $150,000 in his personal wallet. Um, the funds were never deployed for marketing and Preslers were never once in profit. Um, not long after, Faye disappeared from social media and began moving the spoils of his scam to Binance. Um, and that one wouldn't be always about in fact, even if... The Stimmy liquidity pool was initially locked for four months, and even this gave investors a pause as it showed, the founder of the cryptocurrency may be up to no good. Uh, investors will eventually be proven right in their assumptions when uh, the liquidity was unlocked on uh, Friday, October 27, uh, and just got information that they're not the stimmy point that was pulled and moved down to Cucoin was Dev Panther 999, which was Fee's Dev. Um, he scammed them of the LP $85,000 and other funds he moved from the project. Now, this is his first scam, as he did send to another project, too. Uh, he is pretty doxed. Now, he is fully doxed. Uh, Santo, October 27th, 2023. As soon as the unlock happened, uh, the $85,000 of ETH left in a liquidity pool was promptly moved out and bounced through multiple wallets in what looks to be a strategy to conceal the funds and apparently ended up on the KuCoin exchange. In true X fashion, users began their own investigations and figured out the developer behind the project, who reportedly goes by the X handle at Dev Panther, uh, 999. Uh, the developer's LinkedIn page has since been uh, doxxed and is being circulated on social media already. Uh, the founder, Faya, has also been doxxed with his uh, images being circulated on social media by victims of the rug. So the uh, Dev, behind the infamous uh, Stimmy rug pull, uh, he is responsible for pulling liquidity from Stimmy. Uh, at Teddy Speaks, October 27th, 2023, um, uh, by pulling the, the liquidity, uh, the, the founder and team behind the Stimmy project have uh, done a complete rug pull, uh, leaving investors who are already sitting in, in losses, holding completely worthless coins that they can no longer sell. The project comes as a warning of the dangers of investing in untested and unproven crypto founders. Additionally, it is also a big blow to a country, Nigeria, that has struggled to have
projects from the region taken seriously on the global stage, further damaging an already fragile reputation.